Okay, now let's go over bumping. Uh, also, I want to reiterate one more time when uh, I kept messing with the sliders, of the brightness sliders, and the second video and of texturing and and all that. You have an image if you're actually, if, I mean, if you're actually using a texture here, and the mix mode is on normal, then the texture takes some um, the preeminence. That so this this does nothing. And you saw me fiddling with it quite a bit when I was trying to change something and nothing happened. It's because I think it's kind of confusing to be bluntly honest. So, uh, just to reiterate on that, and so you don't try not to get confused because of what I was doing earlier. Sorry about that. But that's not entirely my fault now, is it? Uh, okay. So let's go to bump here. Let's uh, notice this only, this doesn't have no single color associated with it. It has to have some kind of texture. So let's again, uh, if we put some tiles on there, <coughs> we see what it does. It literally acts as a bump, so it'll, it'll apply a, a bump, and I mean, it just bumps it. Bumps it up or bumps it down, kind of like um, using a hammer and, and hitting at something. <coughs> so you'll see it looks kind of funny, that's because it's not literally geometry that's there this is it's trying to emulate a bump so if we actually if we have to actually soften this a little bit make this a little bit uh, blurry and get different effects and actually let's uh let's try let's try this with noise this is usually what I use with bump Alright, now we can see that. We can actually see that there's some um, peaks and valleys in there. Just looks like a little bunch of little crevices in there. And that's because of uh, the bump that we are using. So we actually bump up that scale a little bit. Hmm. <coughs> no, let's turn down the octaves some. Eh, let's just get a different one. There's one. So we can see what bump does. It it kind of emulates depth on the surface without actually adding depth to the surface. And you can also um, add more. You can make it look greater, or you can make it less intense, or you can reverse it. So while this looks like it's dipping in, make it look like it's going popping out some depending on how you want it, and also you can just change that uh, via the color here actually change that to, actually change that to black and change this to white, we get the same effect so now it's dipping in, even though we have it uh, negative strength here so pretty much uh, covers bump uh, a lot, very useful for actual texture, now normal Probably won't cover normal. You can uh, get a, a plugin for Photoshop that'll generate a normal map, a normal map based on an image. Uh, it requires a pretty, um, pretty special image for that. To, usually, it's used for games and all. Uh, that doesn't mean you, it's limited, though. You can, you can definitely use it, uh, but we probably won't be uh, going over that. Alpha, alpha is kind of like transparency, but it's not transparency. Alpha determines what is kind of like a, a layer mask, but it actually hides or unhides pieces of your geometry based on the texture. So what does that mean? Well, let's get a gradient this time. Okay, so we've gotten a gradient, and now what are we seeing here? If we render this, it actually hides the part right, right back there. See it? It goes from solid, so let's see here, oopsie, okay, yep, solid, solid white here, where the white is, the black means zero, so an alpha of zero, actually that doesn't make quite a lot of sense there, oh, but uh, there it is, actually it's a 100% alpha, or at least there's nothing visible there, so that's what we're not seeing. And again, we can adjust these. Notice that it's only based on uh, whatever whatever is in black and white. 
if we add color to this it probably won't do anything and also likewise to the bump if we added color it won't really do anything it'll interpret it as a uh, as a black and white image just so you know that so <coughs> change that gradient a few different ways oh okay here we are so that's pretty much what alpha is it's not quite transparency although it does work similar to it it is not quite the same so if we have actually complete transparency through there so it basically hides and unhides parts of your geometry specular specular is this little highlight here you can you notice you have a bunch of different modes plastic metal and then colored Color usually use a um, specular color if you want to. You can actually make change the color of your specular if you would like to. Change that back to plastic. And we can bump up the height, get a real nice effect in the fall off. I mean, pretty much what it's doing is showing up right here how the light actually reflects it. So there's quite a few options there. <laughs> So you can always you can have to definitely experiment with that. And specular color color again. We can we can select a texture here. Go back to our classic tiles and we can determine how much highlight we get in certain places. And this you're probably wondering why this is useful if we are dealing with character. Usually um where their nose is and all that is is usually their nose and whatnot is shinier and. And their clothing isn't shiny at all. Probably almost no, probably no specular, unless it's like uh, hmm. some uh, maybe some seventies clothing or something. But uh, hmm. that's this, the general idea is the strength is a lot less. So if we actually make this black, hmm. then we'll have absolutely no specular here. So it's just the plain color, no specular whatsoever. So that's that, and also we can uh, change the modes here, add, subtract, and whatnot. I usually leave that on normal. If I want to change colors, I'll I'll just have have this have layers in here. All right, and glow is pretty much what you'd expect. It just adds a glow around your object, and you can control the inner strength or the outer strength. And also, I want you to know that this is a post effect. This isn't applied until after you're done, after it's actually done rendering. Once it's done with the render, then it'll apply it. Just so you actually know. And again, here's frequency. You can probably um, animate this. I'm not quite sure. I generally don't use the glow too much. But that's something that you can definitely experiment with. So, there's a lot of things you can do with glow. Alright, I'll cover displacement next.